Hello, so we're back in this time. We have a nice camera to review. Now be honest with me and tell me how many microscope with thermal camera have you seen? Because my one has. So check it here. We have thermal camera and we have normal camera. And uh, the camera, the thermal camera, is attached to the microscope and connected to the computer. Now let's plug a charger. So plugging a charger and check the. Huh? This is proper nice for diagnostic because now I have hands free. So if I have to check with the multimeter or with, or with the power supply, I'm hands free. This is really important on our repair business. And you will say, yes, sir, and clearly that chip is burned. We can see it's getting hot, right? Okay, check here. So actually the PD controller, because that's the PD controller chip, it's working and it's taking 20 milliamps. And the thermal camera, it's able to detect the 20 milliamps, which of course is taken by more components, not only that chip. Check here, another one. You can see? Just to understand how sensitive it is. Huh? Now, plugging the charger back. And we can see the chip is getting hot. And actually the chip is here. Yeah, that one. Then we have another chip here. Yeah, this one. This one also is getting hot. It's not getting hot, it's getting warm. I mean, with such a low current, they are just, uh, you know, getting warm. Picture quality is good. The thermal camera has 512-3A4, the resolution, and is from Thermal Master. All OS focusing Thermal Master. Now, how the thermal camera is attached to the microscope? I'm going to show you. I took a picture, so we have the microscope here, here we have, I have the polarizer filter, and here is the thermal camera. Huh? So basically, there's no way it will obstruct my working, because you have a working distance there. So that's my setup. Now, you see my uh, videos, and I'm working quite a lot with the thermal camera. And you will ask, okay, sorry, but why we need a thermal camera? And it's because the technology is changing. So now we have uh, digital components, and a digital uh, component cannot be tested. Like CPU, chipset, GPU, EC chip. Part of the EC chip, you can still check some inputs and outputs, but when it's about CPU and GPU and chipset, it's nothing what you can check. You have millions of transistors inside, so the only way to figure it out a fault is by the thermal signature. Like on this case, we have a motherboard. PD controller is working, but the motherboard is not working. Let's check the CPU together. So I'm going to go under the microscope. And we have the CPU here. I'm going to come with the power supply. And uh, with the power supply, we can check for the heat on the CPU, yeah? the heat signature. So coming with the power supply, here we have a power supply, we have around 2 amps there. And check there, yeah, check the CPU. I'm coming on a V-core and you can see the heat is kind of uniform and you'll say, sorry, this is a good CPU. Now checking another uh, coil and you can see the heat, it's uniform, you can see that. And you will believe actually the CPU, this CPU is good. Then we are checking the chipset, right? And the chipset is getting hot in one corner, you can see. That cannot be right. Then here we have another V core and it's getting hot on another corner. Check there. So now you know this CPU, it will not gonna work. You can't have this kind of heat signature, like heat on one corner or on one side of the CPU. You can see it? Yeah. So you have one corner here and you have one corner here, and that's not okay. Heat on the corners means uh, the chip is partial shorted. Like on this case, is the chipset actually. Now, th this thermal camera, it will be really helpful on the repair just because I am hands free. So I have the picture from the microscope, from normal, normal microscope, and I have the picture from the thermal camera. And if you ask me, the biggest advantage here is actually. The camera has a manual focus, and this is important because you want the thermal camera on different distance, depends on the microscope, or for phone repairs, maybe you want to get closer. 
Now for the camera, you can uh, download and install the Windows software, proper simple, just next, 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 then at the end it's installing the drivers and that's all. So you have the Time Master app, then you have uh, the picture from the camera exactly on the PC. You can see it? Yeah. Of course, if you have a HDMI monitor, you can output uh, this picture on a HDMI monitor. Of course, we're going to use this uh, thermal camera on our future repairs. The thermal camera is coming with a connector. You have USB-C, you have Apple, and you have normal USB. So the way I connect it to the PC is normal USB. Let me grab the thermal camera out. So I can take it out easily. And it's that small. The focus ring is proper smooth. Check here. And I love, you know, I will not buy a thermal camera without manual focus. And you know my camera, I have to open the camera and modify the camera so actually I can bring the focus uh, for a closer distance. I have a video actually modifying my thermal camera, but this one you don't have to modify. You already have a focus range here and you can go even macro. Now let's plug the, the camera on my phone. The app is installed and we have the, the camera here. And uh, same like before, check there, we can, uh, we can clearly see that chip is getting warm. We can see this component, which is getting uh, warm, and you can go even closer. So let's say I want to come here, and I'm going to use the focus. Now check there. Now tell me this is not a sharp picture of the motherboard. Not sure if you can see that chip. That chip is pulsing. You can see, has like short burst of current. You can see that chip? Yeah. Like I said, the camera is actually very sensitive. And when you finish, you just, uh, you know, unplug the camera and that's all. Hmm? Proper small. So what do you think? Is this uh, useful for our repairs? Now, of course, you can use the camera for different, uh, depends what you are doing. You can have like a long range focus. You can even, uh, you know, go meters and adjust the focus for that distance. You can check like, uh, you know, car electrical like, or house or even on the night time for uh, like wild animals. And to be honest, it's not that expensive. I checked on, uh, on Amazon UK, it's around 270 something, which is decent for this kind of quality. But again, the biggest plus of this camera, it's actually working with a Windows PC. So from now on, you will uh, see me using the camera on our video because you know my pain taking the camera pushing the power button then waiting over one minute for the camera to come on then i have to hold the camera here and i can't really do a lot when you have a camera on your hand but now being hands-free we can move our repair to one to another level good so i'm gonna stop here i will say uh Check the link from the description. You have a link on the description from where you can buy it. And uh, let me know your feedback. But from what I can see, I tested a little bit. It's just beautiful for our repairs. So uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, don't forget the link on the description. Bye.